primary a little more than two months away in Wisconsin. And tonight, Wisconsin Democrats are backing an effort to get a Republican gubernatorial candidate, Tim Michaels, off of that ballot. Sam Kramer explains the allegations and a response from the Michaels campaign. Before voters head to the polls for a pivotal primary in August. Election integrity means at its core following the law. And Tim Michaels did not follow the laws laid out in Wisconsin statute. Wisconsin Democrats are trying to shrink the Republican field. Sunday, the Democrats announced their backing of a complaint centered on Michaels signature nomination papers, saying he broke state law by not including both his mailing address in Heartland and voting address in Shaniqua on the forms. Under Wisconsin law, if the information in the heading of a nomination paper is wrong, no signatures on that paper can count. Candidates need 2,000 signatures to get on the ballot. The Wisconsin Elections Commission already verified 3,861 for Michaels, but the Democrats estimate just 345 are valid. They say they're good because those nomination papers included both addresses. We're going to take that momentum. Uh, this will give that momentum a little bit more of a boost even. The challenge comes just days after former President Donald Trump endorsed Michaels in the August primary. Michaels declined our request for an interview Sunday, but in his statement he said, quote, Tony Evers and his insider allies are feverishly working to keep me from beating him in November. He adds, quote, they will not succeed. The Michaels campaign has until Tuesday to file a response to that complaint. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. So what's next on this? The Wisconsin Election Commission will hear that complaint at a meeting already scheduled for Friday. Commissioners, by the way, will also hear a similar complaint backed by Republicans against a Democrat running for assembly in St. Croix Falls.